Hello everybody, um, welcome back. If you've been tracking some of my uh, projects I've been doing in my aquarium, that's the project or the aquarium I have going on. Um, it's part of my aquarium reverse substrate system that I've been doing. It's a play on the under gravel filter, but we're going in reverse, uh, since we're pushing water through the sand. This is specifically engineered and designed for planted aquariums easily adaptable to gravel systems or gravel aquariums. Um, it's not that hard. Well, mm, marginally hard. So anyway, here's what we have going on. It is the DCP 15,000. I'm pretty sure I ordered a DCS 15,000, which is supposed to be the latest, but I might be mistaking. So let's pretend the DCP is the latest pump out there. Um, in the Jabao history line, they have the DC, the DCT, uh, DCP, and unless I'm mistaken, the DCS is the latest one out there. They've gone to a sine wave technology. Um, in the electrical engineering knowledge I have, um, I'm pretty sure how they're doing that with the DC motor is multiple poles, which is what a lot of your hard drives do. Um, so. Let's take a look at this. I have this pulled apart. This is how you actually maintain the pump. You can take this off or you can set it on a surface and it reduces the vibration. I'm going to suspend it in a special system you'll see down the road. Uh, so basically we just twist and we get that off. Uh, real quick, so let's go. Here's a start point. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, okay, so it's actually got 13 or 14 um, poles on this motor. So basically they can activate them whenever they need uh, based on the programming. So there's a lot to play here. So a lot of your hard drives, uh, they have anywhere from four to 24 is the highest I've seen with the ones I pulled apart that they have. So you can crazily like, improve the power of the efficiency I should say of your pump. So what we're going from is the Jabao DCT 4000. So this is the second release family of the products. One of the problems I run into is they use the British threading. So if you could see the camera there. Um, so that is a barb fitting they send with this. They don't have any slip and that is to a three quarter size barb I believe. Um, this pump should feature the same ability to twist and turn off. Short advice, just buy this pump. Just buy it. There's already people saying it's amazing. They're a lot, they've had them since they were launched for like a year. And some people have had them fail, some people haven't. It probably depends on how hard you actually push your pump. But at $128 at 50% reduction in power from what they're saying of their DC and DCT series. There's no reason not to get this pump and it's available on Amazon. Uh, people are saying it's hard to get a hold of. I was able to get it fairly easily. Bear in mind, they only have like 12 left in stock, the warehouse. Uh, so let's cover some, some cool things here. They do send the barbs. Um, I believe this is a two inch or at least a one and three quarter inch. That should be a one inch hose and that is definitely got to be a three quarter inch hose. These are the adapters that you're going to basically thread on and it's going to go on there. You put the seal obviously there. Give me one sec, I'm going to put the camera down. So we're back together. Um, Word of advice, if you pull this off, it looks like they're the silicone seal and that plate comes off pretty easily. So that's what it looks like. And for fun, we're just gonna kind of put that on there. Um, we're just gonna take what I believe is a one and three quarter or two inch uh, slip, which the slip is in there. So keep that in mind, slip is in there. You might be able to go on the outside, but why that's gonna be a bad idea is when you start to Get this to thread together. I think it started. It just started. Why that's a bad idea is you will never get that off if you do it that way. So the slip is definitely going to be on the inside there. 
Um, I would imagine if you're crafty out there, you could probably um, use a arguably expensive uh, threading tool that you would see on your metals and you might be able to do that. Um, if you do that, my suggestion is to go to a stainless steel on the exact dimensions they have. You could probably get it machined and we're talking going from $130 to uh, I'll say $50 to $100 for a guy to machine you on plus your stainless steel. If that is worth it to you, you can get one threaded. A smart idea is probably to go from your one and three quarter or two inch, depending on what that is, and step it down over several iterations would be a good idea. And to try to avoid your 90s, maybe get like a pipe and somehow kind of curve the PVC or stainless steel or just your hose. Either way, step it down. Don't go straight into it. People who watch a video, correct me if I'm wrong, if that's a bad idea, but I recall that's a good idea. So this is supposed to sit in water. Um, that is exactly why I have a big old bucket of water over there, or actually a storage tote. And you just set it in the water and fill it up over time. A buddy of mine suggested to make like a sealed container of water that not a bad idea if you don't want it to go stagnant probably treat the water um, I don't know how much this is going to leak into it especially if you turn it off the back and you do do like a weird treated water thing you're gonna have to drain the water from that to protect the aquarium water or whatever you use this for so it is rated for marine use just remember that so this basket, if you set it directly in water or in the tank or in a pond, this is the basket you're going to put on. And I believe it just threads on. Look at that. That's exactly what it does. So if you wanted to have like a ridiculous power head or an internal tank pump system, you can do it with this pump. And this video is going to go a little longer than I intended. Um, here's the power supply if I haven't pointed that out. Here's the controller. There's the old controller. This one is all digital display. That one uses LEDs and dials. Um, these pumps do feature a uh, no water killing themselves or killing is probably the wrong word. Um, they turn themselves off or it's like a circuit kill. Um, and it'll notice that it has no water or it has extreme resistance. I have already done this accidentally by, if you can see those, um, let me get a flashlight. Yeah, not a pro recorder, so keep that in mind, guys. There we go. There's my ball valves. I would not use gate valves as people have suggested in the past for acquiring use. Don't do that. Use ball valves and use threaded, as you'll see in past videos I've made, reasons why. So that is definitely the one and a half. And that's probably one and three quarters, if not two inches, like I've stated. And you literally just plumb that directly in. And these pumps can um, sit suspended. So if you have the pipe work secured, there's no reason you can't suspend that pump. And there's no reason this pump should turn, you know, uh, undo itself. So if you don't secure this, be, make sure you have a smart water valve sensing system that will cut water because that will literally flood your house uh, with however much water you are running through your system so bear that in mind with that said this is everything you get with the pump um, that matters to you there's the bags good pump to get the highest i've seen this go for for a quick tidbit is i think is like 150 160 bucks um, I believe there was like $25 discount on this when I got it off of Amazon. So, and if you're prime, you could probably get it less. Here's what you get. Smart, use some Vaseline or something to kind of keep those seals uh, moist. And have a good day, everybody.